Hey, good afternoon everybody, it's Starry here and I hope you're having a great day today. And today, I just wanted to show you guys a neat little weapon that you can pick up over in Leeway Harbor. And instead of cutting out the load time for the destination, I'm just going to actually leave it in here this one time because I just want to thank you all again because that video has reached a bunch of milestones for me. The first video with double digit likes, and even the first video with over a thousand views. So, as soon as you spawn in, just run up to this little shop and you're going to speak to Chen the Sharp. And you're going to pick the second option, how are the fish selling? And then you're going to have like a neat little conversation with him reminiscing on the good old days of when he was in the Young Adventurer. And this is going to guarantee you a sword that you can only get once in the game, so I recommend that when you pick it up, you equip it onto a character so that you don't accidentally dismantle it or use it for weapon XP. And this is the Black Iron... My bad, I, I meant to say the Dark Iron Sword. I was actually watching SAO this morning, so that's why I was thinking about that. But anyway, this sword is a a viable free-to-play option for DPS characters such as Bennett and Cushing, of course. Now, I'm going to put the weapon stats up on the screen for you to, wa uh, to see right now. Now, what this sword allows you to do is, upon causing an overloaded, superconduct, electrocharged, or an electro-infused swirl reaction, you'll be able to increase your base attack by 20% for 12 seconds. And that scales up to 40, increasing in increments of 5% per refinement level. It also features Elemental Mastery, which will be a great addition due to the fact that you have to end up proccing the certain elemental reactions anyway, so it's all in all a, a great sword, and it's a beautiful design as you can see me currently upgrading the sword. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like once you've leveled it up a little bit, and I, I honestly think it's a really good looking sword. Now I'd like to recommend my two recommendations for who could probably use this sword really well, Kashin and Bennett. Now, for Kashin, this may not be her best weapon, but let's say you weren't lucky enough to pull a Lion's War, you just didn't want to buy the Battle Pass and choose the uh, the Black Sword, this will be a great option to pick up. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why the hell I would say Bennett as a DPS option, but you can't sleep on Bennett. That kid is insanely awesome. He's even in a, he's an amazing support character as well, and if you haven't picked him up already, he's currently in the shop for 34 Master of Star Glitter, definitely pick him up. And if you don't have one constellation in them, you have to get the one constellation. This sword is phenomenal if you don't have anything better to equip such as a lion's roar or the black sword. Now the main reason why I highlighted these two characters is because through their constellation and their abilities they eventually imbue themselves with their respective elemental damage which is why I figured they were pretty good candidates for this sword. Now that pretty much wraps up today's video guys. And again, I want to thank you all one more time for pushing that video to surpass a lot of milestones for me. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, everybody. This is Staria signing out. Later.